what could possibly be any more exciting than this, this, and this, this. I've never said this this many times in my life. Alongside the much anticipated Camp Cretaceous DLC for Jurassic World Evolution 2, we are getting another free update. With the early Cretaceous DLC, I was actually more hyped about the free update that came alongside it, even though the new creatures from that DLC were great. And again, my sheer joy at what this free update is going to include overshadows the paid content. One of the things we know to be in this update is the Thing I have been asking for. Seriously, in almost every video I've made, I've mentioned it. The individually placeable trees. Frontier? Frontier. Like, sit down for a second, okay? Sit down. I'm gonna tell you a harsh reality right here. As long as your Jurassic World Evolution 2 does not have individually placeable trees, I will be so freaking annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna mention it every single video, okay? We need, and I do truly mean need, the individually placeable trees. Need them, okay? And oh, happy days! I can stop complaining now. They're coming back, baby. It's coming back! The individually placeable trees are very much needed for making beautiful parks and for more precision while decorating our exhibits. It's going to make a huge difference for how I personally play the game and I am positively freaking giddy about this edition. Now, why did it take this long when we had them in the first game? I like to hope it took this long not because they forgot and are just now getting around to adding them because some people keep whining that they needed their trees, but instead because we're going to get more than what we got in the original game. That is purely speculation though. At the time of recording, I have no additional information and we probably won't have any information until the day the update happens and we get a forum post about it and we can actually see it in our own games. I am keeping my fingers crossed that we will get more than just the five trees as comparable to the first game. And also more importantly, that we get trees from every biome available in every biome. Right now, the brushes are biome specific, which is a shame, but okay, I'll let it go. But the individually placeable trees as a decoration in the decoration tab would be a great way to mix biomes in a park. Unlike the first game, which was all the same tropical biome, meaning there's only so much they could do in terms of variation in the individually placeable trees, this time around the sky, or rather the canopy, is the limit. Just imagine being able to place the autumn trees of Pennsylvania anywhere and having the redwood trees on the tropical maps for a more the lost world kind of look to your parks on Sorna, potentially this could give us quite a lot of trees to play around with. I just really, really hope they will all be available on all maps, just like the different rocks are available on all maps in Sandbox. Obviously, it's not going to be as expansive as Cadenix mod, so I feel like for PC players who have been using that mod, this isn't a big deal. But for console players and for people like myself who do like the challenge of limiting themselves to what the game actually offers, this is a true blessing. But it's not the only true blessing. We have at least two more. Aside from the trees, they are also adding new decorations. Hallelujah. Having just finished my most detailed park build yet, which I was actually planning on doing a tour of today, but now that has to wait. Subscribe, stay tuned, and you know, you'll see that. I do love the decorations, they make a big difference, but also it's a little bit repetitive. We definitely need more. We need more variety in our decorations. And that's exactly what we're getting, and my mind is absolutely running amok with all of the possibilities. As odd as it is, I'm really hoping we're getting trash bins, but I also really want benches, as opposed to just the tables and chairs, maybe extra planters in different shapes or different stone types, extra lights, uh, the amber from Jurassic World Main Street, fake fossils, slabs, statues, fountains, some decorative fencing would also be a lifesaver. Oh my god, I need to I need to rein myself in. I need to prevent myself from being disappointed. But actually, if, speaking of disappointment, even if they don't end up adding too much or as much as... We, you, they're never gonna add as much as we want now, obviously. But even if they don't end up adding all that much on March 8th, 
the fact that new decorations are included in a free update leaves the door wide open for that happening again in the future. And that alone makes me very happy just knowing that there is a possibility that over the course of time, more decorative stuff is going to get added to the game. That just that being within the realm of possibilities is very nice. Now, as you see here in the text, they mentioned that there will be much more. So I'm very curious to see what the full list of additions and fixes from this free update will be. But there's more that we already know about. And one of those things is going to make my job doing park tours a lot easier. We are finally getting a first person view to provide more ways to get up close and personal with each prehistoric species in their enclosure at guest height. Honestly, I won't so much be walking around in my enclosures as I will be in the park itself where the guests are supposed to be. How cool is it that we will finally be able to experience the parks we build the way our guests would? I think this means we will be spending a lot more time simply enjoying our parks after we finish building them. And I'm really looking forward to that. And again, doing tour videos is going to be a lot more fun from then on too. Now, the final thing Frontier has already revealed to be in the free update is the long awaited species viewer. But is it long? because I don't even know what we're talking about right now. It allows you to observe each species in greater detail. If you have any idea what they mean by this, please let me know in a comment down below. Please save me for myself because I don't know. <laughs> Once it's explained to me, I'll probably be like, oh, that. But right now, how they have described it, it's really not ringing any bells for me. Maybe because I'm still too excited about the trees. Ik kan door de bomen het bos niet meer zien. Of course, if there is more news on this free update, I will keep you informed. As you can probably tell, I am very excited about it. Now, like I said at the start of this video, the free update coincides with a paid DLC, the Camp Cretaceous Dinosaur Pack. If you missed my video on that, you can check that out on the channel. And while you're checking out the channel, Consider subscribing and helping us get to 100,000 subscribers because you're awesome. That's 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 really all there is to it. By the way, leave a comment down below. Which are you most excited about the Camp Cretaceous DLC or the free update? Basically, my question is, are you more excited about dinosaurs or more excited about trees? <laughs> Even though we don't know much about the free update yet, I am personally more excited about it, it being the free update than the DLC. I love having more dinosaurs, it's always exciting, but it's not really what I feel the game needs right now. And especially since a lot of it is just new skins, with the notable exception of Bumpy and the Bioluminescent Para, I feel like the new skins are a little bit underwhelming to me when compared to decorations and of course, my lord and savior, the tree, the tree god, tree beard, love trees, trees are great. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and until next time, enjoy the game.